Hey everybody and welcome to today's video. What I want to show you in today's video is how you can actually use Visual Studio Code to connect to a SQL Server and query it and interact from there. So first of all, what we have to do is open up Visual Studio Code and then we have to install an extension that allows us to connect to the SQL Server. So here I am inside Visual Studio Code and what I want to do is go to the Extensions tab. Now the extension for connecting to SQL servers is called MS SQL and it should be the top result for you. It's made by Microsoft so it's a verified um, extension and plugin for Visual Studio Code. Now it takes a few seconds to install but what you'll notice when we install it is down the left hand side we now get a icon for a server. When we click on that, we have the options to create new connections. So I'm connecting to a Azure database. So I put in my Azure database server name here and you can see it's sarahlsql.database.windows.net. The second option I'm asked about is the database that I wish to connect to. Now you can specify a name or you can um, leave that and connect to just the server. I've left this empty because I want to connect to the server. Now, the next option that we get is about authenticating to that SQL server or SQL database. Now we have three options here. We have SQL login, we have integrated, or we have Azure Active Directory with multi-factor authentication support. Now in this example, I'm gonna keep it very simple and use the SQL login to connect. But obviously best practice is maybe not to use that depending on your organization. So again, be wary of um, picking that. So with the SQL login option, I'm asked for my username and then I'm asked for my password. I'm also asked if I want to store that password into my computer um, so that I don't have to use it next time or don't have to type in that password next time. Because this is a demo and this is um, my computer as well, I'm happy to leave that password saved into Visual Studio Code. But obviously be wary of um, that within your organisation and co follow along best practices. Now the last um, question that we are asked um, is around what we want to save this connection profile as. Um, so make it sure that it's something that you'll understand. Um, maybe you want to identify it as the production database or you want to identify it as the dev database. Something that will make it easy for you to reconnect next time that you need to do this so you don't have to go through this setup process. So I'm going to type in the name of my SQL Server so that I understand um, what it is. And you'll see that after a few seconds, it connects and we get this interactive um, display where I can connect to the databases or the security of that SQL Server. Now I've got a database here called AdventureWorks LT and it has a bunch of tables in it. You can see I can navigate through them and then I can do a SQL query. So I'm going to do a simple one, selecting the top 1000 rows within that table. And you can see Visual Studio Code gives me back the results and very similar to what you would get inside um, SQL Management Studio, but inside Visual Studio Code. So hopefully this video has helped you and you now understand that Visual Studio Code can be used to connect to SQL servers and you can interact with them as well. If you've liked this, this video, please do smash that like button and I'll hopefully catch you in another video, folks.